This is the second video on the time value of money. Check out the entire Black Shells course at momentsintrading.com or at youtube.com slash momentsintrading. In my last video, I covered the basics on the time value of money. I also explained that there is more than one way of calculating out the time value of money and that the formula Black and Scholes used was continuously compounding by the risk-free rate. In addition, I showed an example of finding the future value of an asset by continuously compounding today's value by the time value of money. In this video, we will take the value of a future asset and use the time value of money to find out what the value is today. In other words, one could take the future value of an asset and remove the interest that could be earned from now until then in a riskless fixed income investment. This is called discounting the present value. Let's look at an example. Let's say that you need to pay someone $1,000 in six months and you want to set that money aside to pay them then. However, you don't want to just let that money sit when it could be earning interest risk-free during that time. So you buy a six-month government bond paying an annualized compounded rate of 1.5%. Let's say that you only want to set aside exactly enough money so that when six months is up, you will have exactly $1,000 then. Since you need $1,000 in six months, you need to find out what amount you would need to start with today so that it will grow into $1,000 six months from now by the rate of 1.5% that is continuously compounded. To do this, one takes the future value of $1,000 and negatively compounds by the risk-free rate of 1.5%. This is called discounting to present value. Today's value equals the future value continuously negatively compounded by the risk-free rate. These formulas are the same. You will usually see it written as multiplied by a negative rate of return instead of divided by a positive rate of return because it makes more sense writing it that way. However, both equations are equivalent. So if we want $1,000 six months from now, let's find out how much we would need to invest into a bond today that pays 1.5% continuously compounded for six months. Go to the calculator on the computer, select the scientific mode, and press the inverse key to set up the right function mode. Start by multiplying the negative rate of return by the amount of time. In this example, we multiply negative 0.015, which is negative 1.5% in decimal form, by the amount of time, which is 0.5 for one half a year. Negative 0.015 times 0.5 equals negative 0.0075. We then press the exponential function key, which gives us the negative rate of growth over time. We press the multiplication key and enter in 1,000 for $1,000 and press the equals key. And there you have it. If you take $992.53 rounded today and invest it into a bond paying 1.5% compounded in six months, it would grow to $1,000. Therefore, we have taken the future value of $1,000 and discounted it to the present value of $992.53. The time value of money is used in many areas, such as lottery winnings. Many lotteries offer a choice of 20 yearly payments or a cash equivalent today. The cash equivalent is the future payments discounted to today's value. In the Black Shells formula, Option values are discounted to the present value to find out what the current value of the option is. The formula visually suggests that only the strike price is discounted instead of the future value of the option. However, in my last video, I showed that this is because the stock price is already at present value. So that is the time value of money as it is related to the Black-Scholes formula. The time value of money is actually a fairly involved concept. Black Shells chose the continuously compounding method for ease and simplicity, but there are other ways of doing the calculations as well that are technically more correct, and it may be worth spending some time researching the subject further and in more detail. By now, if you've gone through the intuition and assumptions section of the course and the video on pricing an option with the risk removed, 
you should have a fairly good concept of the basis of the Black-Scholes formula. Now we enter into the section on pricing an option with the risk included, which means we are going to explore a whole new set of concepts on probability and risk. See you then.